What do you think you're doing in there? Hi. In case you haven't guessed today, I am making a lemon play suit. Move over, strawberry dress. Lemon play suit is in town. Well, it will be in town. Today I am using Charm Patterns Jane play suit. I am making a play suit. <laughs> I have traced out everything. I did do a wearable muslin. And the only changes I've made to this fit-wise are I did grade in at the waist a bit. I did a size four for the waist, and then I graded down to a six, six, between six and eight at the hip. Along the crotch curve, I actually chose the size 10 because I looked at, at my crotch length and compared it to the chart and the size 10 was the closest match. So the length was good, but I did have quite a bit of wedgie action. So I had to scoop the crotch as it were. <laughs> and I'm thinking I may have to do a little tiny bit of adjustments after I sew this together because I hadn't done the muslin on this fabric. And it's the stretch is a little bit different than my muslin, but I think it should work out. So I've got some design decisions to make in terms of my play suit, I have this beautiful lemon fabric, obviously, from Minerva. Gorgeous, love it. It's not really my typical thing, but for some reason, fruit just gets me. <laughs> I'm gonna decide later on whether or not I want to use this trim, which is this tiny like mustard pom-pom trim, or if I wanna use these pom-poms. We'll see how it goes, I'm gonna sew most of it and then decide on the design before I attach the neckline. The other thing I'm doing is making a picnic skirt, which is a free pattern. It's really just two rectangles essentially. If you go to YouTube and search picnic skirt, you'll find Gertie's picnic skirt tutorial and she's got a free download. And so I'm making a little overskirt to go over my play suit. Let's get started on constructing this play suit, shall we? Alrighty, so I have sewed the bra, the interior bra. Pretty neat little construction here. Basically, you sew the darts here first, and then you sew it together in the middle, center seam. And then you clip some notches along this part, and then you sew them together, mounting the notches. So now I am going to sew some Pico elastic, like the same stuff that you use for lingerie. The bottom of this, one inch less than this measurement, and then that'll make it stretchy. And then that will be the interior bra. Pretty cool. All right, actually I lied. Before you sew the elastic on, you have to sew the boning channels to these boob seams here. So I'm gonna do that really quick before I do the elastic. All right, I have sewed the boning channels, which actually were some single fold bias tape. So basically what I'm doing is I'm just gonna shove it in here and then I'm gonna cut off the excess like so. So basically right now, I have to make a decision. Do I go with yellow mini pom-poms or white not so many pom-poms? You can see both being really cute. So I, I'm kind of thinking I wanna do yellow up top. Let's just pin this and so we can kind of get an idea. So that's how that looks. And then I think I would have yellow Going around the whole neckline, I think that would look really cute. Or could do yellow up top. No, that's way too much with both. I don't know, the white is really cute though. This is so hard. <laughs> I don't 
don't know what to do. Hmm. I do really like the white pom-poms actually when I see it on here like this. I don't know. What do you think? I'm thinking these. All right. Command decision. We're going with the white pom-poms. I'll save these for another project. All right, thanks for your help. All right, so now I am going to hand baste the pom-poms. I have made a neck band pom-pom sandwich clipped it all together and I'm going to sew first I'm gonna baste it though and then I'm, I'm gonna sew five-eighths of an inch along this edge okay so that is all stitched and now I'm going to cut off the excess uh, right here. Not too much though because I need to understitch this. This off here. And now I'm going going to understitch. Actually, before I do that, I'm just going to inspect here and see how spot on or not I was with this. Yeah. There's a lot more white over on this side than there is on this side. So I think I'm going to have to come out a little bit on this side and unpick those that seam I just did just right here because I want it to be even. So I'm gonna do that really quick. Okay, well before I understitch this actually I am going to cut out a chunk of this corner here so that it will turn in on itself and I'm gonna try not to get too close to the stitching. That's gonna work actually. All right, cool. Look at that, it looks pretty good. Okay, so I'm just gonna clip into these curves right here. And then I am going to actually sew this to the bodice because it says from there on out, you treat it as one unit. Before I sew this together, I just wanted to show you how freaking cute it is already. Oh my god. It's so cute. So now I have to actually understitch this and it's gonna be really tricky. I have to be really careful not to catch the boning. Be careful not to catch the boning. I caught the boning. Oh, sorry, machine. Oh, I think we're okay. The needle's not broken. Oh, God. that was stressful. <laughs> as long as it looks good on the outside, that's all that matters. So let's see how we did. I think it's gonna be good. So now I have to do the back of the bodice, which involves sewing these together and then finishing the seams, the raw edges. I am going to forego the boning and everything but chest, the bra, just because I feel like if it's boned, I'm going to be less likely to wear it because it'll feel kind of too fancy or too formal or something and I just I want something that I can wear just during the day and be comfortable so I'm gonna just skip those well I don't have any three-quarter inch elastic but I do have this double fold lingerie elastic so I'm gonna use this because it's soft and I'm concerned if I used regular elastic in the back it would be like I feel like it was suffocating me I really don't like things that are tight around me. So it says to cut two lengths of three quarter inch wide elastic, one and one fourth inch shorter than bodice back units upper edges. Oh, 
And then it says sew elastic to the bodice with a zigzag stitch or by serging without stretching elastic. I guess I'll serge it. All right, I think that's good enough. It's not the best, but you know what? It's fine, it works. So now it says to fold elastic to bodice wrong side and press forming back neckline facing. Alrighty, so before I can sew the back and front together, I need to flip the bra to the inside like this. And then I have to sandwich that. So I have to make sure that the, these parts match up at where the seam line will be. This is quite, quite tricky. So five eighths in from the edge, that part right here needs to meet five in inches, five eighths of an inch of the e from the edge on the neckband piece because that's where it's going to be sewn. And if it doesn't match up, you're going to have a weird gap there. Well, not going to lie to you. I'm really not a fan of how this seam comes together here. Don't really like how that worked. So it's just basted for now, but I think I'm going to try to figure out a different way to do this. I don't know if it's because I had to grade so much at the waist or what happened. I don't like how that turned out. All right, so I think I like this a little bit better. I have to do so much weird folding and stuff. It's not perfect. I think it, perhaps if I had known about this sooner, I would have been able to get a nice clean line here. Right. So I am basically sewing the shorts portion now. I have finished the raw edges, I sewed the darts, and now I am just stitching at the inseam and the outer seam of each leg. And then from there I will sew the crotch and leave space for the zipper. sure what happened <laughs> probably a drafting error but the shorts are wider than the top up right here so I kind of had to blend the two ain't no big thing so I'm actually gonna hand pick the zipper because I really like doing that and also I just feel like I have more control and it'll look nice and vintage so I'm gonna look in my vintage zipper stash and see if I can find one that will match this. Maybe yellow. Only have a few more things to do for my play suit and then it will be done. So I have to make a little overskirt. It's my waistband. I'm gonna make the skirt right now. Then I have to make the neck halter strap for the play suit and a hem it. And then I'm done. So let's get to it. strap here. Fold it over, sew it across, and then finish the ends. So I just have to put two buttonholes here and here. And then I will sew some buttons on the inside bodice. Alrighty, so now I'm going to hem the shorts. And I'm just going to serge around the raw edge first, and then as per the instructions, fold up one inch and catch stitch all the way around. 